Hello, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do a little first impressions slash review type of video. Um, I don't usually do these, but I thought for these products I would because it's a whole new brand that I have not tried before and I thought it would be fun just to do a little makeup look on camera using it. So I'm gonna be testing out Rare Beauty today, which is a brand by Selena Gomez. Okay, I know every person and their granny these days are bringing out a makeup brand. I know, I get it, it's a lot. It is a lot. But when I got this package, I really liked the products. I liked how it looked. And what I really liked was her messaging behind the brand. Um, I'm gonna just show you here. So it came with like a, just a little booklet of the products and stuff like that. And so it says here that their mission is to help everyone celebrate their individuality by redefining what beautiful means. We want to promote self-acceptance and give people the tools they need to feel less alone in the world. And this is a makeup made to feel good in without hiding what makes you unique. Because Rare Beauty is not about being someone else, but being who you are. So I really like that messaging. So they also have an impact fund behind the brand. And their goal is to raise $100 million over the next 10 years to help increase access to mental health services with a focus on underserved communities. So I think it has like a really good messaging behind the brand and I definitely support that. So that's why I thought I would sit down and film with the products. Yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna start with the primer and I love the fact that this is an illuminating primer. Yes, here for it. Ooh, we can see the dew. Yes, thank you. So I'm not sure if the foundations are gonna match my skin, but we're gonna give it a go because they sent over three different shades. Um, it might be a bit dark, but we'll make it work either way. Okay, the lightest that they sent me was 210N. It also comes with a this type of an applicator, which I don't love, just because bacteria can grow. Like if you're putting it on your clean face every single day, you're gonna be fine. But you know, sometimes if you have breakouts or stuff like that, so I don't initially love that, but uh, I can lighten it with some concealer anyway. My face is a little bit darker than my body because I just have some instant tan on and I don't instant tan my face. This is also a brush by Rare Beauty, so we'll try this. So yeah, this is a little bit dark for me, but it's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. I'd say this color will be fine for when I'm in my regular tan. That looks quite nice and natural on the skin. I've been very into medium coverage foundations lately, which is a very surprising for me because I am all about the full coverage. But I think it's just because my skin has been clearing up a little bit, apart from a few little fellas that pop up every now and again. Um, yeah, I think I'm just a little bit more comfortable in my skin. I like that. So far, I think that looks really nice. It feels lightweight. It looks natural with still providing coverage. Let's conceal. So the shade of concealer I'm using is 210N, which is the same number as the foundation that I used. I usually do like to go a little bit lighter with my concealer, but this is the lightest of the three concealers that I have. There's a little smaller version of the brush that I just used. I'm gonna use this for my concealer. They also have a sponge, which I probably should have tried out, but it's okay. So again, this is more on the medium coverage side quite dewy. I'm not sure how this concealer would fit for somebody if they had a lot of darkness underneath their eyes, if they wanted to brighten. Um, this alone might not be enough, but if you want just a nice fresh dewy concealer, this looks to be pretty good. Yeah, because you can see, I don't know if you can see on camera, but some of my freckles here still shine through. The only reason I like to cover my freckles here because sometimes I feel like it looks like my mascara has like transferred down. Um, I don't cover them because they're freckles, I just cover them because the placement. I don't know, they're just, as I've said before, a little splodgy freckles that sometimes can look like my mascara has transferred down. 
So there's now bronzers in the range. I'm gonna just take some of my Fenty concealer, or my Fenty bronzer, and I'm just gonna contour my face real quick. So we have some creamy blush that I'm gonna try. I might use, I like the look of this color. This shade is called Bliss. Let's add a little bit of this to my cheeks. I'm very much into cream blush lately. I just love how it sits on the skin. It's so fresh and dewy. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this in. Let me blend this first. Oh, I like this color. That's such a nice shade. It's just the right, the right amount of blush for me. So it says here there's eight different blushes. Four are dewy and four are matte. And um, the one I used was a matte one. But I like how it looks on the skin because the rest of my skin was very, very dewy. So the dewiness is still coming through underneath that anyway. Moving on now to the highlight. So they have some liquid highlight. These come in eight different shades. So these four here are the light ones. And then there are four other ones which are a little bit on the darker scale. So I'm gonna try this shade. It's called Enlighten. So it's the lightest highlight that they have. Let me see what it looks like. I'm just gonna dab it onto my cheekbones. And I'm gonna blend that out. This is a Fenty highlight brush. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I really like this. Again, it's very fresh and dewy. There doesn't seem to be any glitter particles in it, which I hate for a highlight, because it's too glittery. I like my highlight to look like a sheen. And this definitely does that. Oh, I love this. Okay, so far my favorite is the blush and the highlight. Next up we have this little compact. So in this, we have blot paper and some setting powder. Um, and when I opened this first, I was like, okay, like where's the powder? It's just a sponge, but it's powder infused in the sponge. So let's give this a go. I'm gonna just start by doing underneath my eyes. I don't know if you can, if it's coming across on camera, but I feel like the foundation and the concealer have like settled into the skin and it's not as dewy looking as it was. It's still quite dewy, but I feel like it's just sitting more into the skin rather than sitting on the skin. So, because sometimes when a foundation is too dewy, as I said, it just like sits on the skin and like if you touch that off anything, it's just gonna come straight off. So I like that this is definitely working its way into my skin. Okay, let's try this. I hope I'm doing this right and I'm not just like dabbing a sponge with nothing in it. That works. And what I really like about it is that it's not going so powdery looking like chalk, like so many powders do. This one is just like, it's like it's just setting it into the skin rather than taking away all of the dewiness. Although I feel like it's just gonna get dirty. So I think it would be something that you just throw in your handbag and use as a touch up throughout the day if you needed to, rather than use it to set your makeup every day. So I just started to do my brows and realized that my camera had shut off, it wasn't filming. I'm gonna do this brow on camera. So all I did was I just, that one needs to be fixed. So all I did was I just combed some of this brow product True, It's the shade Soft Brown. So it's just like a little spoolie here at the end. And it has some product on it that I just literally combed through this brow. I'm gonna tidy it up in a minute, but I just wanted to try it out and see how it looked. So I'm just gonna comb it onto this brow as well. I'm honestly not really a fan of like the tinted brow gel. I just feel like it just always looks patchy. 
maybe it just looks patchy on my brows maybe it works for other type of brows but I'm just gonna take a little cotton bud and just brush through this a little bit to take some of the product off I'm gonna take the other end of the brow which is just a pencil side type of thing The brow product's not my favourite. I don't like tinted brow set and I don't like this type of brow product where it's like this thick um, roll up waxy pencil thing. I just, it doesn't work for how I do my brows. Oh, okay, that was a bad move, Katie. I just got ink all over my hands. Thankfully, it didn't go all over the carpet. So there are no eye products except for eyeliner. So we're gonna just do a little liner today and keep it simple. I'm just gonna take some liquid lipstick and put it on my eyes because why not? So I'm gonna take the shade Courage and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. And just blend that out with a fluffy brush. Just so it adds like a little bit of color to my lid. Because for me, when I just do a black liner by itself, it just, I don't know, maybe it's just my eye shape, it just, I, eye shape? Eye shape, it just doesn't, I don't know, I don't, don't like how it looks on my eye with no shadow, so this will just help with the contrast. Ooh, that's nice. And I'm also just going to take a little bit underneath, just to pull it all together okay I was planning on it to be a little bit smaller than that but it's just how eyeliner goes sometimes you just have to go with it what I like about this is it's a soft black. It's not like boom, black in your face, which is great for some eye looks. I do like a intense black, but I just feel like this is like a nice soft black because sometimes when I do liner, I'm like, I want to do a liner, but I just don't want it to be as intense. And then I'll end up using like a soft brown liner or like a soft brown eyeshadow to do a liner because all the black ones I have are like black, black, so intense. But I feel like this is just a little bit softer. It might just look black to you on camera, but it's definitely a softer black. Yeah, I like that. It goes on nice and smooth. It doesn't go like bumpy. You know the way sometimes you pull some and it just drags all the way? This went on really nice and smooth. So there's no mascara, so I'm just gonna jump in and use my Marc Jacobs mascara. I just have these little corner lashes that I made. I just cut a pair of lashes that I had in half. And I have this little end piece that I'm just gonna pop on the end of my lashes. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this highlight and just get some on a brush and just apply some to the inner corners just for extra glow. I'm obsessed. Like, I love this so much. I love this visual of Selena. I love this lip colour. So I think I'm going to do the same lip. I think it's the same lip. It's called Inspire. Yes. Just grabbing a lip liner just to define my lip shape and tidy up that lip line. This lip liner is from The Balm. It's called Fine All Over, which is pretty much the exact same color as the lipstick. And I'm gonna finish all that off with their setting spray. It's a four in one. It's a mist that hydrates, primes, sets, and refreshes skin, which I feel like most setting sprays kind of do a bit of it all. So let's try this. Mm, that smells nice, it smells like a spa. Um, okay, so let's just do a little run through of the products. 
um, foundation concealer. I am really impressed like how it settled on my skin afterwards, like the initial application, which I really liked, but it was very, very dewy. But I definitely noticed after a little while, it definitely settled more into the skin. And I just think it looks really nice and fresh and dewy. I don't know how this would sit on someone who has a very oily complexion. It might not work for you. The concealer is really nice. Again, it doesn't provide like a whole lot of coverage. It's more of like a natural fresh look, which I do like sometimes. I'll definitely keep that in my pile for days that I want just a nice, fresh, glowy skin. Highlighting the blush is probably my favorite. I love how the blush went on. I love the color. So the color was Bliss. That's the one that I used, which is a matte finish. It's nice and subtle, exactly how I like my blush. And the highlight just gives it that really nice, dewy freshness. Definitely gonna use these a whole lot more. The brow product, probably my least favorite, just because the type of product that it is, I don't ever go for those specific products. So that to me, I probably won't use again. The powder, I do like the, the concept of the powder infused sponge. I think it's great just to throw in your bag when you're on the go, but I probably honestly won't use it that often because I don't really tend to touch up my makeup throughout the day. And then we had the liquid liner, which I said I loved. I love that it's a little bit of a softer black than your typical black liners. And the lip color, so nice, feels really nice on. It's more of a lip cream rather than a liquid lipstick. So it has a different texture. It's a matte finish, but the formula is still creamy on the lips so it doesn't completely dry your lips out so i'm impressed and i'm definitely going to use these products again for sure it's a win for me for the most products anyway i hope you enjoyed this type of video if you have any questions let me know in the comments and that's pretty much it i hope you like the makeup i hope you have a great day and i'll catch you in the next one